What's up, people? We are back with more of WAS the Hourglass of Lepidoptera. In the previous video, we learned that Higure's real identity is Hisui. So basically, Higure is Hisui. They're the same person, so yeah. She's sort of the criminal mastermind behind all of this the children cat kidnappings and whatnot but not entirely because apparently she has a master to answer to as well which we're currently suspecting to be the mysterious man you know the man with black whose eyes we can't see because he's wearing that hat suspiciously right over his eyes so we can't see it like perfectly matched obviously so yeah that's our current guess we're not entirely sure whether that's the case or not but um i believe we were fleeing from her because Lin is captured by her as well as Myrna. Myrna was sort of hypnotized by the Pied Piper flute and Lin was just unconscious I believe and yeah. We are currently running with Alan the heck away from her, from Hisui. So let's continue. I tried to follow her by the sound of her footsteps but I'm not in as good a physical condition as she is. Or... Okay, it seems like we're chasing us. I kind of got that wrong. It's late, so I'm sorry. I've lost Hisui in a situation where she could do anything to us. T Tadayoshi, where did she disappear? I don't know, but I don't think she let us go. We've gone from bad to worse. I haven't even found Lin yet. We're as good as dead if Hisui calls for help. And what if she takes Lin hostage? Damn it! Let's think. Think about it. Think about a way out. A way to find out where Lin is at. What? What the? The high-pitched sound of a flute echoes over the building. Oh no, Alan. Alan, please don't get... Oh, please no. I brace myself since I fear it's a signal from Hisui. But some rather unexpected people end up coming to meet us. M Mirna! Oh no, they've been called into action. This is how she controls the people, or the kids, in her kid army, children army. The children who were asleep in the cells are approaching. They didn't respond when I tried to wake them up, but they're up and about now. But they look so strange. Alan, stay with me. Something's wrong with them. <clears throat> Do you hear me, Alan? I've got a bad feeling about it. And well, as, as I try to flee with Alan, something pushes me forcefully to the ground. What? I didn't expect that and couldn't react in time. I try to pull them off, but I pause as I see the person who shoved me. Ah. Alan, what are you doing? He's grabbing me with incredible strength. Normally I could get him off me easily. But now I can't even budge him. Alan, are you listening to me? Please, get your hands off me. He won't listen to you. Those children are my puppets. You, you with the massive um, wardrobe change. I almost want to say like extreme makeover, but she doesn't look that different aside from her clothes. Sui appears from the shadows. With more children next to her. Oh my god, she's playing that flute. She grins while showing me the flute, as if to tell me what made that sound. This is the best way to deal with a good boy like you. A person who can fight against bad people, but not friends. Haha, <laughs> you followed me into a trap. What a fool you are. If you think I'll sit here and listen to you, don't make a move. I should. I gave him the suggestion to keep the boy here, even if it cost you your life. What do you mean? <laughs> exactly what I said. If you ever break free from him, she drags one finger across her throat. He kills himself. Ashamed of failing in carrying out my order. Quite responsible for a boy, eh? G God damn it! Quit joking around! Ha! Look me in the eyes and see if I'm joking. 
You're just a brat. Nothing but attitude. She doesn't seem to be lying. Even if she's bluffing, Alan is holding me with unbelievable strength. The more I resist, the more he would suffer. I'm stuck here. And even if I could break free of Alan, there are more children like Myrna, you, and all the rest. <sighs> Seems like you've given up. Hisui licks a blade. Isn't that a dagger? That's right. Didn't expect you to know that. I don't intend to use this on a boy like you. Not before Lin, anyway. With the blade in her hand, I can get close to her or back her attack. Lin might have a chance of beating her with Tomfas, but I've got nothing here. Good. I like the desperate look on your face. You know, I like to torture the weak ones slowly and watch them tremble and suffer. I love that so much. She sounds like she's doing this for sport or something. Hisui slowly approaches me, dagger in hand. She'd catch me and kill me if I managed to break free from Alan and start running. I know it's impossible to run from Hisui, and I'm sure that she won't let her guard down to me anymore. Ooh, ooh. I can't do anything. I can't even come up with any plans. She's smiling, but not with her eyes. If I were to resist, she'd stab me with that dagger. Where did your spirit go? I do love a kid who knows when to give up. <laughs> now I'm facing certain death. No way to attack. No way to defend. Am I going to die here miserably? I'm sorry, Lin. I couldn't get you out of here. Lin, huh? That gives me a great idea for where you should die. I'll get to watch her suffer at the same time. It'll be so fun. Wha what are you going to do? I step back slowly from her, and eventually, I reach the end of the corridor. Isui purposely walks at the same pace as me, trying to get close, as if stalking her prey. I'm cornered. I feel an extreme pain, causing me to fall unconscious. Oh my god, no! Huh. Hey, are you okay? Wake up! I hear Lin again. Lin has the power to transmit her thoughts to me, right? Or did his Sui kill Lin and me, and we're both on the other side already? Tadayoshi! Come on! I'm sorry, Lin. I couldn't save you. I'm sorry. Idiot. Don't say that until you can't really save me. We still have a chance. Huh? I tried to open my eyes, resisting from the pain. The first thing I see is Lin. While she's exhausted, there's still a light in her eyes. Lin, is that really you? Hey, you haven't forgotten what I look like already, have you? Of course not. I'm glad you're alive. Hisui's interested in my ability as well, so she has spared my life for now. Do you know her? Yeah, I do. She's in an organization called Hamlin. That would explain why she disguised herself and used mother, mother to kidnap children. Speaking of children, you, Myrna, and Alan are here as well. Kidnapping is their MO, so odds are the kids are still active. We've got to get out of here. That brought me around. We need to get out of here, not sit around talking. Both Lin and I have our hands tied behind our backs. Our legs are tied too. We can't even move freely ourselves, much less rescue the children. What should we do, Lin? We still can't. I said, we still have a chance. They took my tomfus, but I still have a knife hidden in my shoe. Can you get it? 
I tried to crawl around, around like a worm to get close to Lin. Then I turned my fingers so that they are next to Lin's feet. Not that one. It's in the other shoe. Don't even think of trying anything. I can't afford to think about anything. I search around in her shoe with one finger until I feel something sharp and cut myself in the process. Found it, Lin. Good. Get it for me. I take the knife between my index and middle fingers and try to pull it from her shoe. Good. Take your time getting it out of my shoe. Then cut my ropes with it. Lin helps me by turning her shoe a bit. Several attempts later, I get the knife out. Got it, Lin. I then position the blade against the robes, binding Lin's wrists. Yes! Oh, we're free at last! With her hands free, Lin takes the knife and cuts the other robes that bind us. Thank you for saving me, Tadayoshi. But, I know, we still have something to do. We need to find and rescue Myrna, Alan, and the other children. Breaking out of the cell was surprisingly easy. The door wasn't even locked. But where did Hisui go? It's strangely quiet here. I wonder how far we are from the children's cell. The building is dark. Hisui could ambush us from the darkness at any moment. Lin! As Lin and I are walking carefully, we both hear footsteps. Is that... Hisui? No, there's more than one. Lin is right. Two figures come into view. Alan and Myrna! Oh, are you both okay? Watch out, Tadayoshi. Their eyes are empty. Huh? I look into their eyes, which really are empty. And they're each holding a knife in one hand. Damn, this must be... Yeah, Hisui did that. Lin readies the knife she'd stowed in her shoe, but she doesn't want to hurt them with it. What should we do? Alan and Myrna are getting closer to us, slowly. What should we do, Lin? Her hypnosis gives them strength. I know, but it doesn't make them faster. Having said that, Lin quickly gets behind Alan and Myrna. The children turn around, but Lin prepares to chop them on the neck. Sorry, but I just want you down for a moment. Just as Lin is about to knock them out, I hear a wet, disgusting voice from nowhere. Wait. Lin shudders at the voice and stays her hand. Alan and Myrna try to put their knives against Lin's neck. But Lin steps back from them. Oh, it's not fun if you run. You're going to die here at their hands. It's okay by me if they kill that boy over there first. No wonder Lin can't fight back against Hisui. Hisui has the dagger, and it's pointed at you's scar uh, scared face. I'm telling you again, in case you forgot, I prefer to take extra precautions. If you try anything funny, I'll stab him. <laughs> Creepy laughter echoes through the building. Isn't she supposed to capture us alive? It sounds like she's going to kill us. Alan and Myrna get close to Lin again. I try to approach Alan and Myrna slowly to stop them. But... Idiots. That goes for you too. Do you think I'm going to ignore you? Do you want to let this boy die? Damn it! This is it for sure! Don't give up! I hear Lin's voice within my head. Lin stares at Higure, trying to think her way out of this. There must be something we can do. There must be. Oh, yes. I shouldn't give up myself just yet. If endurance and Tanfa are Lin's specialties, my wits are mine. Let's use them. I gotta think of something about Tanfa. 
Hey, Lin, can you trust me? No matter what happens? What's with all the sudden questions? Can you trust me? Alright, I will trust you, Tadayoshi. He's gonna pretend to be on her side or to pretend to give up Lin or something? Sui, I don't want to die here. Can you at least spare our lives? I will help you in return. It's a win-win for us. What are you up to? Changing your mind that easily? Seems suspicious, you know. I am serious. I am finally free from the Kurokawas and a better life awaits me. So I don't want to die. What should I do to make you trust me? I'll hear anything you say. Take Lin out, right here, and I'll consider that. Huh? Okay. Wh what are you thinking? Sorry, but I gotta do it. Hey, Hisui, did you take my wooden tafa somewhere too? I don't think I can kill Lin barehanded. Ha, ah, that's right. You should use real tonfas rather than wooden ones. Isui throws Lin, Lin's tonfas on the ground. I slowly pick them up. I don't like the idea, idea of harming children. Does that go for you too? Hmm. If you break your promise, you know what's going to happen to them. Isui plays the flute of the Pied Piper. Alan and Myrna turn around and step away from Lin. Betrayal like this is so sweet. I do love looking at the face of someone who's betrayed. <laughs> you can laugh like that for now. Run! Swoosh! It happened at the same time. You began to run towards Lin as she shouted, and Lin threw her knife at Hisui's hand. What? Hisui attempts to grab you, but the knife thrown by Lin interrupts her. Lin jumps towards you and grabs him as soon as she reaches him. Good job, Lin! That sure was a risky bet. You like gambling, don't you? Lin goes to catch Alan and Myrna. She's still faster than two children, even though she's holding you. Lin chops at the neck to knock them unconscious. Then I give up. Uh, then I give Lin the tafa Hisui gave me. What is this? Tadayoshi put one o uh, over on you while you were laughing like an idiot. I used my power to tell the boy to run toward me when I shouted at him to run. I don't know why, but you didn't put you under your hypnosis. He's been frightened since I came here. You thought you could take care of him without the flute because he's too frightened to act, huh? That inattention caused this. Aha, uh -huh. you diverted my attention with lousy acting and you fell for that lousy acting so easily. Hmph, <laughs> ha ha, so what? So what? Huh? You just prolonged your lives a little bit with your tiny tricks. I say again, so what? I'm going to kill you by myself. Isui goes towards Lin. Take care of him. Lin gives you to me. I put you close to the, to the unconscious Alan and Myrna, then move away from Lin and Hisui. Oh, <gasps> he's here. He's finally here. Like we've been waiting for this guy to show up for a long time now considering I'm pretty sure he's the key to everything that's been happening right now, right? It has to be. <laughs> Seems that I made it just in time. Now, Meridius is almost awakened. Let's see how she fares from here. Oh, look at Lin in action. Ah! Bam! Clang clang! Lin attacks with a tonfa, but Hisui blocks the attack with her dagger. 
they're evenly matched. No matter who wins, I won't be surprised. <laughs> Not bad. Have you finally matured for the better? Ha! Huh, you're just too old for this. How about retiring before you get uglier? Rah! Lin attempts to attack Hisui, shifting her balance. Nope, that won't work on me. Hisui dodges Lin's attack with the least amount of movement necessary. That gives Hisui a chance to attack back. Lin! Die! Hisui thrusts her daggers at Lin's side. <gasps> Bam! She blocked it like a champ. Lin blocks the attack with her opposite Tonfa right before the dagger hits her. Hmm. Didn't I tell you that I know how to fight? I already know you're going to take that chance. Her mind reading is the only hope she's got. With that, Lin can guess Hisui's attacks easily. What? You're letting her train you and know nothing about it? Huh? Lin's power doesn't work on other telepaths. And I'm one just like Lin, so she can't read my mind. Hisui steps back from Lin. What? So Hisui can also read minds. What? Are you kidding me? Lin seems to be panicking. Oh? You mean she doesn't know her own power acts that way? Haha! <laughs> That's funny. That means the people whose minds I can't read are... <laughs> By the way, this land is very interesting. Many telepaths, such as Lin and that woman, are gathering in this place. Who is the woman she mentioned? Are there more people with powers besides Lin in this city? I remember that Lee seems to know something about Lin. But Lin read her mind when they met. Well, it's not the time to think about that. Lin lost an advantage over Hisui, as Lin can't his, uh, read Hisui's mind. But I want to help Lin, but my skills would only slow her down, and Hisui could take me hostage if it goes wrong. The war is over, so why are you still collecting telepaths? War is over? You're talking nonsense. Japan only won this world war by chance. The real war is yet to come. That's why you're kidnapping children? Uh-huh. I hate smart brats for realizing our purpose so fast. We're going to wage another war and take over the world. So you capture children who would be useful, brainwash them? and then train them into soldiers? Your method hasn't changed at all from what I remember. Lin shouted to Sui, expo exposing her rage. Could she be? Well, I have to think about that later. Yeah, it's definitely confirmed that at some point, probably during the first war, it's gotta be that, right? Cause um, the state of the world that it's currently in is it's, it's, it's sort of post-war, right? So the war, the recent war hasn't an ended that long ago, so it could it's pretty safe to say that for sure, considering that it's pretty much confirmed that Hisui also had a similar child army as she is trying to build up right now during the previous war. So it's definitely, I guess, safe to say that Lin was part of her child army during that first war. So, god, but she's trying to build an up another army. Well, that's not our entire goal, but that's everything I know. Huh? Weren't you the leader of the organization? Have you been demoted? Lin says in a taunting tone. Say whatever you want. Our final goal is that sublime. Then I really have to kick your ass right here. Yeah! Clank. Huh? It's so unlike you to lose yourself like that. To save someone? Hmm. 
It's just because I hate you from the bottom of my heart. Ha! Huh. Lin doesn't block the attack, but instead jumps back. Ooh, I could kick you if you were to be blocked with that attack. It seems that your intuition is as keen as usual, isn't it? Even if I can't read your mind, I still have an eagle eye trained through gambling. I knew you were pulling me into your trick. The mind reading power isn't the only thing that made her almost unbeatable in gambling, I assume. From far off, I hear a ship's horn. Finally, took them long, long enough to get it ready. Ready? Ah, Isui must have a plan to get out of Japan by sea. Now, I'll have to hurry, finishing you off. Right back at you. I must beat you and destroy Hamlet with my own two hands. This time, I will for sure. <laughs> if I chose to go all out, I could kill you all in a blink of an eye. That's bullshit. You're already fighting me for real. I'll teach you this. In case you don't know, normally, the human brain can control how much power it lets out. What do you think will happen if it can't control that? Hisui grins, taking her flute from her pocket. Hisui, what are you going to do? Have you forgotten how my power works? Children aren't the only ones I can give suggestions to. I don't want to use this because it burdens me, but I haven't seen you for years. So I will show you my real power before you die. Hisui attempts to play the flute. Lin, don't let her play that! I know! It looks different from the time she used it on the children. This will be much more dangerous. Lin's already aware of that and is going for Hisui. Tom is at the ready. <laughs> it's too late. But Lin couldn't reach her in time. Damn, if it comes to this... Rah! Lin's attack is so fast that it cuts through the air, but Hisui easily blocks her attack with her dagger. How did you block that one? You're slow. Oh my god, she's bleeding! Ah! Isui pushes the Tafas and Lin away from her. Oh, that's interesting. She used the power of suggestion on herself to remove her limits. I didn't know it worked on adults. She's become a puppet, feeling neither pain nor fatigue. Now that will corner them. <laughs> Things are getting interesting at last. Lin, are you okay? Yeah, don't worry. Oh, she took off her jacket. It's ridiculous. Her strength and speed are way better than before. Lin has a bitter look on her face. You got a plan? No, I must stay alive and wait for my chance. Lin acknowledges the bow, uh, power gap between Hisui and her. Come on, don't look at me all worried like that. I'll try to buy enough time for you to run. So get out of here now, Tadayoshi. I can't do that. Lin seems to be prepared for something. I can't leave Lin here and run. Hey, didn't you see how strong she is? I will run from her. When I get the chance, you must run with those children. Please. Lin said please to me. I've never heard her say that before. I will kill you. Isui's eyes are unfocused, as though she has nothing in her sights. But her attacks are as precise as a robot's. In contrast to her rough fighting style from before, she gave herself that suggestion, and her strength is powerful enough to leave cracks on the wall.
Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna end this video here. Kinda sucky to do it in the middle of a battle, but it's pretty late right now, so I should go to sleep. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I'm not sure. I mean, we, the mysterious man is apparently like watching this. I don't know how. If he's, I don't. I, I, I feel like he's hiding, perhaps, or something. Maybe he's like a, a shadow in a sense, or something. Like he's hiding in the shadows, or he's just watching from a distance, or he's invisible. I don't freaking know. But he has some way of, of seeing, of having oversight of the entire situation, right? Even though it takes place in in this like tiny and dark corridor with cells on the sides and whatnot, so. He, he is definitely something special, you know, we knew that from the very beginning pretty much already. So yeah, but the way that he talks about Hisui, I didn't immediately get the, get the feeling that Hisui was her, one of his pawns as well. I didn't, didn't Im immediately get that uh, feeling that, you know, the mysterious man is the boss of Hisui. For some reason, just because of the way he talked, he didn't... He didn't seem biased in his way of talking, so I'm not entirely sure if that's still the case, it, but he's definitely overlooking the situation, but I think because he is really interested in both myself and Veridis slash Lin, right? So if he were, uh, we know that Hisui's master has given the order to not kill us basically. But yet, if he were seeing the situation, then he would sort of disapprove of what Hisui is doing, right? If he were her master. Because unless he told her that, yeah, you can fight them, but don't kill them so she can hurt us. But not, you know, she we don't die at the very least. That could be the plan as well. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. Oh, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.